Oh, it's that time of year again. You may have noticed the Front Range is experiencing something of a moth invasion. Well, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn spoke with experts who say, although they can be a nuisance, their migration has a positive impact on our ecosystem. There's a Miller who you've enjoyed bringing into your home for years. It was Vaughn Miller with the script sack. And then there are the Millers who have not been so welcome in most homes. Whenever the Miller moths come around, there's always a minute of mass panic. They're looking for those dark spaces, cool spaces like in your garage, and then you open the door and they're all flying around. Yep. That's what one of our colleagues captured in her garage. Miller moths are invading through every nook and cranny. This moth visits Colorado every spring. Sharon Herchkovich is a lepidopterist at the Butterfly Pavilion and says moths are a cousin of the butterfly, perhaps just not as beautiful with their brownish black and gray hue and long legs. While they may look a little creepy, Hershkovich and other experts say they're natural pollinators and they do have a purpose. Very important part of the ecosystem. They are um, an important food source for animals all around us. So the animals that we love to see in our backyards, like birds, even bears, rely on them for um, a food source. They also feed on nectar. So as they go visiting bloom to bloom, they um, do the important act of pollination. They spend winter in the ground as tiny caterpillars, mainly in Nebraska, Kansas, and eastern Colorado. Begin their migration, so Eastern Plains to the Front Range to the mountains. They're not venomous or poisonous, so don't worry about your pets, but their scales do easily rub off, which looks like dust and is where the origin of their name comes from. The scales look like a miller's powder or dust, like the product of a flour mill. They do rub off quite easily with miller moths, giving them their miller moth name. And while you can vacuum them up or swat them away, these bug lovers offer a different approach. You can use a net. Um, I had some come into my apartment last night and I just gently uh, scooped them up and took them back outside. So it's best to really to just wait it out. You know, hopefully it'll only be two to three weeks. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.